It is 6 a.m. in Paris, France. We're going for a run. <laughs> you gotta look at the camera. You gotta smile and wave. Always acknowledge it. Don't mess up the shot. <laughs> Starting to light up. Look at it! You can actually see it now. It's so cool. Definitely worth the 550 wake up back to the hotel for breakfast. Not too happy with the Paris breakfast. Instead of pancakes, they got crepe cakes. They don't really have syrup. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with it. Time to test the Paris subway system. It's a nice subway, but the trains are really small. <laughs> So the first thing we're doing is going on a walking tour around the city. They are in that group, we are in this group, the cool group. She just told me that this is where Drené Descartes lived. I'm starstruck. What happened? Why were you late? <laughs> we're survivors of the subway. Here we are at Notre Dame. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's pretty old. That's all I know. Yeah, so this is the uh, Eiffel Tower. It's pretty nice. Sabrina, how's the croissant quest going? How do you think it's going, Sam? I'm really... N oh! <laughs> So we're done with the tour, or at least we broke away from what people are doing. There's a big line here. I don't know what this is for. It seems too big of a line to be for a museum. It looks like it's either the iPhone 10 or a celebrity. The guy has a chicken on his bike. We are here for one reason and one reason only, to get an eclair. It says the name of the thing. I know. I got the super fancy, shiny, caramel one. It says the name on it. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, we're back at the Eiffel Tower because I saw it in the morning, but I really want to see it when you can actually see it. I would be remiss if I got all the way here and did not go to the top. Oh, 
So the last time I was at the Eiffel Tower, you could just kind of like walk through the park and walk up to it and then go on the line. Now they got all these fences, so you have to walk around the whole thing and go through all this gating and can't really walk around the perimeter because they have all these fences up. It's still just as cool to look up, but it makes it a bit harder to get to. Sabrina's making new friends. This is it. We're here. Under the big guy. Big girl? I don't know. Big something. Oh, it's chilly up here. It's a little cold. Say, if you come to Paris, go up the Eiffel Tower. I feel like that's assumed that that's gonna happen. What's gonna happen? Okay, just got out. So it looks like the Paris Marathon is going on today. I did not expect that. Look at this. So they left to go do things. I'm gonna go check in with them later. Probably gonna meet up with them in a little bit. Right now, I just wanna walk around. I wanna hang out around the Eiffel Tower more. I feel like last time I was here, I rushed through it. And this time I really wanna just hang out with them. Good for them with the marathon. What a good place to have an hour to kill. Couldn't resist the crepe. The difference of how cold it is if you're in the sun and if you're not in the sun is ridiculous. As soon as a cloud covers the sun, it's freezing and windy and... Dinner time, we got bottomless wine, bottomless bread, bottomless water. Bottomless smile. Sorry. Did you just say I wanted to recognize that I'm already pregnant? Two soups, a steak, and a bunch of fries. I'm a survivor. Dinner is done. Okay, I'm in between. A bunch of people are doing a pub crawl. It's gonna be out, it's gonna be a fun time. But the hotel has a ping pong table, and I'm also really into that. It's the last night in Paris, so I feel like I should go out. But at the same time, it's also the last night with the ping pong table. So who's to say which is really more important in this specific scenario? Turn up. I guess that gives you the answer. Maybe I'll flip a coin. We going out. We're wedding so much. It's because it's hot. It's way too hot. Are you vlogging? Okay, quick game of ping pong. Yep. Then we out. I don't plan on drinking at the pub crawl, but I want to go on the pub crawl just to start it up. She's all lit up. So these people are hopping from bar to bar. Their end is the club. My end is old Lady Eiffel at the end of the night. And so we went to Peru and we both got on an alpaca for like 30 minutes or something. What's happening? The thing about a pub crawl when you're not drinking is that it's kind of just like a walking tour at night. I didn't think this music was live, but apparently there's live music and the guy's right over there. He's really cool. Or at least I think he's really cool. He has a guitar, so I assume he's really cool. They're from Belgium and we met them 
You meet new friends when you go places. It's a good time. It's, it's, these are really similar. Yeah. It's like these things. They're both very small. <laughs> yeah, I need to put my shoe back on. There's a lot of sex shops here. A lot of shops with sex and and ladies and men and it's uh it's a good time here in the uh in the where are we? We came outside for a quick breather. And a debrief. I'm I'm sorry to break it to you, vlog viewers, but I don't think Sam's going to be viewing the lady herself, Mrs. Eiffel Tower tonight. It's pouring out. I don't think now's a good time to sit out on the green. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Do, do you do you agree? It's, yes. it's too rainy out. Yes, I think so. It's too rainy out to go see the Eiffel Tower right He's now. Get sick. I think I don't know if I get sick. I think I just get wet. But I but you're gonna get wet and cold, and then you're gonna get sick, and then I have to sit next to you on the bus for six hours, and then I'm gonna get sick, and then. Hi, my name is C. Welcome to the Daily News.